हेलो रिवान मैं नीबिज मिनी से एटी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आर स्क्वेड इंटीग्रेशन मॉडल एज वी नो इंटीग्रेशन मॉडल वी ट्राई टू प्रडिक्ट डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बेस्ड ऑन इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इन वेरी सिंपल टर्म आर स्क्वेड शोज हाउ वेल इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज एबल टू प्रडिक्ट डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल आर स्क्वेड शोज हाउ वेल इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज एबल टू प्रडिक्ट डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल सो वी कैन से दैट आर स्क्वेड एक्सप्लेन हाउ मच वेरियंस इन अवर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज प्रडिक्टेड बाय इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वट डू यू मीन बाय वेरियंस इन डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वेरियंस इन डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल मीन्स चेंज इन आउटकम ऑफ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल विच यू आर गोइंग टू प्रडिक्ट थ्रू इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड आर स्क्वेड एक्सप्लेन हाउ मच वेरियंस ऑफ अवर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज प्रडिक्टेड बाय इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल मीन्स हाउ वेल यूर इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज एबल टू प्रडिक्ट यूर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इट ऑल्सो नोन एज कोफिशेंट ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन विच शोज हाउ वेल इनडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज एबल टू प्रडिक्ट डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एज वी नो गुडनेस ऑफ इट शोज इंटीग्रेशन मॉडल हाउ वेल प्रडिक्शन ऑफ मॉडल आर अलाइन विद एक्चुअल ऑब्जर्व डेटा मीन्स गुडनेस ऑफ इट शोज रिलायबिलिटी एंड एबिलिटी ऑफ यूर मॉडल एंड आर स्क्यूड बेसिकली मेजर गुडनेस ऑफ इट ऑफ रिग्रेशन मॉडल दिस इज लाइन ऑफ बेस्ट फिट इन रिग्रेशन मॉडल और यू कैन से दैट दिस इज गुड फिट लाइन एंड आर स्क्यूड शोज हाउ वेल गुड फिट लाइन अलाइन विद एक्चुअल ऑब्जर्व डेटा आर स्क्वेड शोज हाउ वेल गुड फिट लाइन इज अलाइंड विद एक्चुअल ऑब्जर्व डेटा वैल्यू ऑफ आर स्क्वेड इज बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन इफ आर स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू वन दैट मीन्स मॉडल एक्सप्लेन ऑल वेरिएबिलिटी इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल परफेक्टली इफ आर स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स मॉडल एक्सप्लेन नन ऑफ वेरिएबिलिटी ऑफ डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल और यू कैन से दैट इफ आर स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स independent variable don't have any power to predict dependent variable this is formula to calculate r square 1 minus ssr over sst ssr represents sum of squared uh, residuals residuals means difference between actual observed value and predicted value residuals are type of error and we can calculate residuals when we minus uh, uh, predicted value from actual observed value Y1 is the actual observed value. Y1 hat is the predicted value, and this difference will be called residuals, or you can say that this difference will be called uh, error. But we don't add a single residual. We add sum of squared uh, residuals. We add uh, this term. But why we do square of uh, residuals? This is uh, our regression line. Suppose a value of y hat lies here. and this is actual observed value suppose the value of y hat is equal to 7 and actual observed value is 9 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 this difference this 2 will be called positive uh, residual now suppose y hat lies uh, here and this is actual observed value here you can see 6 minus 8 is equal to minus 2 this minus 2 this difference will be called negative uh, residual so we have positive residuals as well as negative residuals in order to prevent positive as well as negative residuals or you can say that in order to avoid plus and minus sign we do square of residuals but why we add summation why we do sum of square of residuals so here we have so many residuals some are here some are here some here here means we have so many residuals that's why we do uh, summation of sum of squared uh, residuals so we don't add uh, single residuals we add uh, this term we add sum of squared residual so we can say that sum of square residual or ssr is equal to this so we have discussed about uh, what is ssr and uh, this is formula to calculate ssr now we will see what is sst SST is total sum of a squared, and this is formula to calculate total sum of a squared. Here, y1 is actual observed value of dependent variable, and y1 bar is the mean of dependent variable. So here you can see this horizontal line represent mean of dependent variable, and this is actual observed value. 
this difference is a type of error means this difference is a type of error we do square because error can be positive as well as negative in order to avoid a positive and negative we do square and we do summation because we have so many errors some are lies here some here some here that's why do we do summation so this is formula to calculate sst this is formula to calculate SSR and this is formula to calculate SST. That's why we, we put uh, this formula in place of SST. So, this is for a final formula to calculate the value of R square. Now, we'll see one numerical example of R squared. Here we have an uh, independent variable P. Means this is value of X1 which is our independent variable. And this is our dependent variable demand. Uh, so, this is value of y1 means y1 is actual observed value of our dependent variable and this is predicted value of our dependent uh, variable. So, now we will calculate residual means we will minus predicted value from actual observed value. We will minus this value from this. So, it will become equal to 0, 90 minus 85 will become equal to minus 5. Similar you can calculate other. Now, we do square of all this value 25, 225, 225, 400. Now, we add all this value it will become equal to summation of a square of y1 minus y1 hat means this value will become equal to this. That's why in place of this formula we will put this value. Now we will find out value of these. In order to find out these we need a mean of a dependent variable. That means we need value of y1 bar. And we can calculate mean of a dependent variable when we add all these value of a dependent variable. And when we add all this value, it will become equal to 320. Now, we divide it number of observation. Here we have 5 number of observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we divide 320 with 5, it will become equal to 64. 64 will be called mean value of dependent variable. In order to calculate uh, these, we will uh, minus uh, y1 from uh, mean value of a dependent variable. Mean value of dependent variable is 64 and these are value of y1. We will minus 100 from 64, it will become equal to 36. We minus 85 from 64, it will become equal to 21. We minus 60 from uh, 64, it will become equal to 4. We minus 45 from 64, it will become equal to minus 19. Similar, we minus 30 from 64, it will become equal to minus 34. Now, we do square of all these value. After doing square, we will add all these value, it will become equal to summation of square of y1 minus y1 bar means we have calculated uh, these value in this formula we will put uh, these value and when we solve this it will become equal to 0 0.733 here you can see 0 0.733 is more closer to 1 as compared to 0 0 0.733 is more closer to 1 as compared to 0 as we earlier discussed value of r square lies between 0 and 1 if r square is equal to 0, that means your independent variable do not have any power to predict dependent variable. But if value of r square is equal to 1, that means your independent variable is able to find out all variance in dependent variable. That means your independent variable is very powerful. So, here you can see value is more closer to 1 as compared to 0. So, we can say that our independent variable is very well. Our independent variable have enough power to predict our dependent variable. So, this is all about R squared. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.